Hi, and welcome to Schmooze with Suze. I'm Suze Montgomery, your host, and I've got two great friends in tonight, and we're going to have some fun. We're talking about artists without borders. And this is, well, let's, uh, uh, Sue Pollock and Patty Channer are my two buddies. And tell us how this whole thing evolved. Where, who came up with the concept? How'd you get there? Well, we, um, we went on uh, a trip with Bill Hendricks, uh, who's the professor of photography at Ventura College. And uh, that was, I think, his 49th trip. Yeah, I think so. He's been going there that yes. long? Yes. Yeah, amazing. He just amazing. did his 51st. Just came, yeah, mm -hmm. just came back from his 51st. And um, it, the trip was December 13th to December 20th. There, Sue and I were on it, along with about 20 other um, members of the community. And four of them were students from Brooks uh, School of Photography and Journalism. and. Um, we be, prior to leaving, uh, Lorenzo De Stefano from the uh, Ventura Film Society right. had done a film a number of years prior uh, in Cuba, and he had uh, a number of friends there. So he uh, requested that I bring some gifts to them in Cuba. Oh, okay. So I was in communication with one of them, um, Victor Pena, and uh, prior to getting there. And Sue and Paul Linhart had told me about Pedro Polito, who was an artist in residence in 1997 at Art City and lived in Ventura for six months. And Pedro uh, was doing a series of sculptures on prostitution and prostitutes in Havana. And so when he came here, he continued that. And there's a sculpture that he's made at the entrance, right when you walk into Art City. It's on the right-hand side, and it is absolutely magnificent. Mm -hmm. And it says embargo, and it mm. kind of reflects uh, the situation of prostitution in Ventura in the 90s on Thompson Boulevard. He actually created it with pieces of old sidewalk material from Thompson into this into oh, this wonderful. so Paul had mentioned Pedro to me and then Maribel at Bell Arts uh, heard I was going and she gave me a gift to give to him because she was his interpreter uh, during the 90s when he was here so we both had this connection with and Patty knew that they knew each other I didn't even know that that the two men knew each other but so we brought gifts to both Pedro mm -hmm. and to Victor and we hosted a dinner, uh, I think it was the second or third night we were there, uh, to meet them. And so they both came with this other wonderful gal, uh, Mercedes, uh, who we had hoped to bring here. But we had this fabulous dinner with some of the group that were in Cuba with us. And as we're sitting there for dinner, she looks at me across the table and she goes, Art Walk. And I went like, we will bring them to Art Walk. No, we will create this. Now, yeah. this was on the 13th, the 15th of December, prior to December 18th, which was the day that Obama and Castro opened Boy, relations, were and we the were right there. Place? We were at, at the, the right, right place at the right time. That was amazing. More than it was, it was that's really unusual. That. Some might say it was all in divine right order. Oh, uh, gee, one would think. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so the, when this was happening, when you were, th when this happened, when he was there, and this, because this was the first time in what, 50 years? Yeah. 
Yeah, this was absolutely. Since, since Fidel. We yeah. found out that morning, that that morning on the 18th, that there was going to be an announcement. Right. Ron Picciotti at came down to, to breakfast and said yeah. he <laughs> saw something on CNN in our hotel room. We never turned on our, our TV, TVs. so I knew nothing that was happening in the world, but mm -hmm. he saw something. People started talking at, at breakfast in the hotel, and then our guide heard as well. So. We, he, we were all together and our guide was translating to us Raul's speech. And at, when it was over, we um, arrived at the square, uh, the square. Santa Barbara Square. Santa Barbara Square. Yeah. And there's actually a ah. statue of Father Sarah in this, in this square. square. I, go figure. And he, he, he went to Cuba too. Okay, right. yeah, yeah. And he the church Spain to Cuba, Cuba and mm -hmm. then to Mexico mm -hmm. and then uh, migrated into the States. So there was a, a small hotel at the square. That's where we were going that had a, a TV, because there's not a lot of TVs that have American uh, or international stations. And we all kind of piled in to this bar that was in this hotel. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, Obama was on, was on, on TV, TV when we got there. And so, yes, so yeah. there were rum wow. shots poured and uh, hugs, hugs and crying. coffee, crying, People were and crying. just it was it was absolutely um, an astounding time to be there. When we prior to us getting into the going into this bar, oh, yeah. we're going yeah. through this square, and the church bells are ringing all over the city of Havana and in that square, and the pigeons are flying all over. I mean, we are, we were truly walking in in. You were in walking maze. in. Yes, we were walking exactly. in history. So. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I, one of my students, her name is Betty Sherman. I'm having lunch with her tomorrow, interestingly enough, but I hang out with her. and I, She was a student of mine for at least four or five years, and her husband and she were in, uh, they were in Havana. They were at the Capitol the night that Batista fell and Ca uh, Castro took over. She was in uh -huh. one of two boats that left Havana uh, and went to Key West. I mean, she was there. She And she with vivid memory could tell you everything that happened. Well, w on our trip right. was um, a resident of Ventura, Anthony, Anthony Munoz, and his wife Darlene. And Anthony, this was astounding because Anthony, this was, this was his first time back to Cuba. He was born in Cuba. Wow. And in 1959, at right. that time it was New Year's Eve, yes, he was, it was the last, he was in the last seat on the last plane that left Havana. Okay. And he had never been back there before, and he was 20 at that time. Right, yeah, Betty so. was a young, yeah, she was in her, I think she said early 30s, and her daughter is older than I, so that's, yeah, and they were, it was New Year's Eve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's when it all fell. All fell. Isn't so he amazing? was, you know, n this Boy, was never expected, yeah. So it was, it was, it was really an it's amazing. Be there from the the old regime to the to new, new and then now again yes that how time our you know history hopscotches like that it's yeah. so unusual and you see these you know they string together you know when i was a kid i used to i had to go to catechism like every good catholic kid did and so i would go to this and the nun would sit there and she used this analogy and i kind of put this together for now she would sit there and she goes, this is the way we see life. She would do this, you know, the old, this is the church. This, this is, is steeple. And then she would turn her hands and she goes, and this is the way, very pontifically, this is the way God sees life. And she would do this and I'm going, wow. So all this somewhat seamlessly all fits together. Yeah. This is really, yeah. so when you went there, you did not anticipate anything, anything that happened like this. Anything like this at all, no. But you just, and then, but you brought gifts to the artists. These two These artists. artists. And um, yes, and then we, we met with them afterwards. We, we had talked, that first dinner. Right. And then Sue and I started to consult about that, that this would be a possibility to bring them back and got really inspired and excited. Spoke with them and they were thrilled. But they, they, they both of them have, have been to the States before. numerous times yes. um, since. So okay. so they, they, they've been here um, to California, uh, Pedro's uh, ex-wife and daughter live in Chicago. So there's been they, they've been back to Traveled, the states. Yeah. Mercedes never has been to never had been to the states. She, wow. she Mercedes was a muse. She had this um, this energy around her, mm. and she was truly Pedro's muse. And I really wanted to bring her as well. I'm, I'm the co-chair of the Art Walk, and I have been since uh, volunteers took it over from the city of Ventura. I share it with 
Mary Perez and Kevin Clarice. So I had the power to invite them, but then now I'm sponsoring them myself. So Mercedes visa was turned down. Mm. And, um, but Pedro and Victor's Mercedes were approved. How are I mean, the art walks working? Pretty well? The now art walk? You, I think they're more attended to n now than they used to be in the old days because you guys are really strategizing this and marketing it well. Mm -hmm. We are, but we're only people. doing it once a year. And the city used to do it two times and three times a year. So I think um, since we just do it once a year, it's we can put a little bit more energy into it. And this is going to be in July, correct? It's July. 18th and 19th, but oh, this is birthday. a good okay. plug for me to talk okay. about the other parts that yes. are involved in Art Walk. Um, the city was really excited about all, about our Cubans oh, coming. Bet. And so uh, working with Denise Sindelar and Elena Brokaw, they are going to do an event, a collector's event on Friday night at City Hall. It's a paid event, it's $20 a person. It gets you in there, there'll be past hors d'oeuvres and no host bar. But um, Cheryl Heitman, our mayor, will be honoring our artists of distinction that we do every year, and will be honoring Pedro as our oh, that's global wonderful. artist. And now this is a new category now that we plan to bring in every year to Art Walk, is to have a global artist, somebody from another country to come and share Brilliant their idea. art with us. Mm -hmm. So uh, Cheryl and Cheryl has been to Cuba with Bill, so it's you know it's just all connected. Yeah, mm -hmm. And. Um, the one of the things that Denise and Elena have going is that each venue, um, one artist from that venue can show one piece of art. So there will be a preview for sale art that will be part of Art Walk the next day that can be purchased. And that's the collector's oh, that's part. Great. They're trying to, um, you know, we're all trying to step it up. You know, yeah. we don't want retail, you know, over a pair of jeans, you see a picture, you know, we're not doing That's that anymore. That's old days of That's art. That's old right. days. Right. So we are, you know, really stepping it up and this, the city being supportive of us and helping us and the city is a Good. sponsor this year. Good. So that's on the 17th. On the 18th, Victor, one of a wonderful part that Patty and I got to know about Victor is he is an expert on Hemingway. Hemingway really? lived in Cuba for 30 years. Correct. Mm -hmm. He gave his um, his Nobel Prize to the Cuban people, you know. And we've all read, you know, Old Man in the Sea and and other Don't stories from him. him. Yeah, exactly. So we have him scheduled as a lecturer at the museum on nice. on Friday on Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, we have it from 10 to 12. It's a breakfast. It's a Cuban breakfast with mojitos. And it is um, from 10 o'clock to 12 noon. So it's going to start with Victor talking about Hemingway, followed by Bill Hendricks talking about Cuba. And, and Bill has a new book that he is uh, bringing that's coming out called Proof, which is also about Cuba. And then um, Lorenzo uh, De Stefano is going to talk about a film that he made with Victor in Cuba um, some time ago about a, a group called the Los Sapphires. Uh, yes, and it's the Sapphires. The Sapphires, Los okay. Sapphires, which is a, 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 a group was a, of singers, was a group very popular, <clears throat> popular in the in the uh, 40s and 50s. Mm -hmm. There's and a Netflix film of the sapphires. I just put it in my queue today. Well, that's could, could, right, that? could be Lorenzo's. Did you check who? No, I right? did, but here mm -hmm. again, another So he was there for quite some time, and that's where Victor became his man in, in Cuba. So when we met Victor, like he was our man in Cuba. It was wonderful. It was How great. did you yeah. find Cuba? I mean, oh. I know it was like it's this iconic old world with a little bit of new mm. but mostly old mm. world they haven't really progressed how are the people how was oh, the, how the was, people yeah. are wonderful oh, phenomenal they're so smart e okay education is free yeah. we were talking we we were there at the jazz festival that's the other part that we were there for right. which was amazing and my husband Lawrence and I were sitting next to this young man who was 20, I think 26, and he was getting his degree in engineering. And he said he's the first one in his family to go to college. Wow. Um, it's free. 
When it's done, you have to give back two yes. years of your time. It's like Peace Corps or Vista. You so have to sense. give back oh, and work for the work, and you get room and board, and you get a little bit of pay, but you're giving back, and then after that, that. You know, the physicians mm -hmm. give back, everybody gives back to the community. So that was really exciting um, to see there. Yeah, and, um, and the, the color of Cuba is what really, I mean, the people, the color of the people, I mean, smile. there is no homelessness, there is no crime. There, there's um, no guns. There's no guns. There, there, and there is no, people, d d when I came back, people were like, well, what about all the military walking around the streets? Yeah. I said, we never saw We barely any. saw anybody. I mean, w w w w in front of the museum, I think it was, the art museum when, where they had that exhibit. But there, I mean, you so safe. I, I never felt day, night, or any time that I was not never safe. Never felt that at all. You know, and uh, and you know, we'd be getting in these taxis <laughs> at night, you know, going back, and you know, not speaking uh, Spanish very well, and it would be hysterical and the people would be trying to communicate with us yes. or or if they spoke English the cab drivers would be communicating with us they mm -hmm. love to talk to Americans mm -hmm. they want they yes. they loved us yeah um, and when yeah. you we we did a lot of uh, we did a number of architectural tours as well mm -hmm. and which which was amazing thing to all is because you very European. Very European. Very European. Very okay. European. And uh -huh. there, you would, there would be these magnificent doors, whether they were wrought iron or wood or a combination of both. And for me, it was like when you walked through the door, what was on, what was on the other side could have been like a Fellini film. Okay. Um, or a, a, an incredible tropical paradise. Beautiful. That was the courtyards. Beautiful and, courtyards, oh, plants, and, and color, cuisine. fountains. Yeah. We ate at magnificent places oh, and yeah, had phenomenal, food phenomenal great. food. Which is a new and, thing for them. Um, now they're allowed to have restaurants in their homes. And they get to oh, keep the money. They pay a tax, but they get to keep the money. Paradigms? I forget what the word is. Or I forget mm -hmm. what the name of the word is. That's interesting. But they, mm -hmm. so there's a lot, we went, a lot of the places we ate were, we're in, in people's homes. Private homes. So you're Beautiful. walking up stairways and through the laundry and. What a and great then, idea and then, though. Oh, mm -hmm. And the food was amazing. So the economy must be healthy it, for um, the most part. It's growing. Not impoverished. It's growing. It was no, there's a impoverished there's, areas. We saw okay. poverty. Mm -hmm. Right, did. and there, you know, and the internet, and all, I mean, there's still dial-up. You know, I mean, there's not a lot of yeah. <laughs> they have cell phones, no, but they, they have. have cell phones. We were all like, you know, we we were in one restaurant one day on the top, and these two young guys were playing guitar that were fabulous, and they're taking a break, and they're like, you know, they're, they're just texting, texting yeah. along, you know, and then they so got back and played some Beatles songs. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. So um, very interesting mm -hmm. because yeah. you don't really. You know, I think of Cuba like the old uh, Castro days, the oppression. Yes. But yeah. do you think it was just because you were there at that particular time, or has this been a slow progression into, you know, some kind of modern, you know, it's oh, been happening. Oh, it's been yeah. happening. It's Absolutely. been a slow progression yeah. happening. Yeah. So yeah. where is Fidel these days? Is he's he alive? There? Yes. From what we understand, he's alive. He's alive. Yeah. So and who's really running the country? Is it Raul, mm -hmm. the brother? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Apparently he's yeah. pretty ineffectual, yes. but I guess. Well, he's, he's meeting with Obama. I mean, they already met. I mean, Right, and, they're, they're, and he's going to retire, I think it's two years. Exactly, that he's okay. and they're going to have their first election. Right, yeah. and the poll. Is the embargo bar over, by the way? It's on well, its way. Well, they're, they're, they're still the negotiations. Still negotiations. Okay. And um, the Pope. Is Bill is doing a yes. trip actually in September, and the Pope is going to be in Cuba, which I think I'm going to try to get to. September, really? September 19th, 19th 20th, and 21st. So the Pope's and going to Cuba. Yeah, he's not coming to, to California. Cuba. This I don't know seems to be a somewhat of a little bit contentious thing in my class these days. Oh, Apparently really? Apparently, we're canonizing Father Sarah, correct? Yes. And oh. all the bad stuff aside, but it, he is not coming to California to do this. He's doing this from Philadelphia. Ah. So I've got a lot of people going, really? Wow. Why is he not doing that? Well, maybe I mean, he'll do it from Cuba. Cause that, he, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're right around the yeah. corner. Yeah. yeah. Well, who knows where? Yeah. The last well, maybe he'll watch the show and get it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send him a CD. We'll send it. Exactly. Send him exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> who knows? He'll come from yeah. Cuba. Yeah. So it was, it was an extraordinary time and an extraordinary time to be there. And huh? then to come back and to 
be creating, be part of this creating, helping Sue and, and uh, her committee create this um, art art walk. This is quite uh, a, this is a big yeah. deal. This is oh, huge. It's, it's, it's being it's called huge. Havana to Ventura. Ventura. Oh, good. We, we have a name. We have um, a mural that uh, we will know for sure on Monday if the um, Art Commission approved it, but MB Hanrahan presented oh, it last yeah. week. So Pedro and MB have been communicating, sending their pictures back and forth by couriers like Bill and other people that are going. Wow. So they you know, have an idea of what they're going to see. Um, the mural is going to be, Josh Addison has donated mm -hmm. the wall. It is down on Main Street, right before you hit Garden, across from Bonds. There's a dirt lot there. And where that dirt lot is, is this huge wall. And that's the wall Which that we're going to have. Which is painted kind of a you know, yellowish this, now. Try, I'm trying to figure out. You know where Patty's is? Yes. You go past Patty's, going towards uh, Santa Barbara on Main Street. Okay. Bonds is on your right hand side Correct. and Himalaya as we were okay. just talking about. It's on the left hand side. Patagonia is actually in those uh, buildings oh, there. Oh yes. Yes. And so mm -hmm. and they just bought another parcel over yes. there yes. too. Yes. They bought yeah. the dirt lot I heard. Yeah. But that's yes. what they bought. Yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. And so it's that wall right there. Oh where, that's a where beautiful place to It's play. beautiful yes. oh. and it's great because there's parking lot right behind, huge parking lot and with the dirt lot there people can come and watch. That's mm -hmm. we want them. It's going to take Art them two to three the weeks. Yes. It, it's yes. all incorporated. So Everybody's, you're doing this mostly on the west side of town. Well we're um, we, Art Walk is really starting from around um, Laurel this year. Okay, the Rubicon's so going to so be you're involved. It up. Okay. So from Laurel and um, Blue Cube is up there too. And then going to, down to the avenue and then heading out towards Bell Arts and the Wave. Okay. We're also doing pods again, which has been very popular. That so was great. We, yeah. we have 16 pods, and we hope to get the students from Brooks That'd to have wonderful. a pod. We've been working with Brooks to help support them so that they can show their Cuban pictures. But the theme is definitely Cuba. Yeah. This is interesting because I was at Denise's office last week, and we were talking about doing, because I teach seniors, you know what I do. Mm -hmm. And then we were talking about doing some projects with kids over on the west side and specifically doing intergenerational things because uh. MB wants to do projects with our kids. And this is probably going to happen in June or July. Well, MB and Pedro are teaching classes together through Bell Arts. Oh, and so, perfect. And, and it's, I mean, it can be all different ages. Um, Mary Perez at Vita Art She's Center so is mm -hmm. handling it, the registration. If you go on Mary's website, you can probably see it. It's probably up there. One is a, a sculpture class. One is actually working on the mural. The mural, right. Wow. Um, you have so to be a teenager. Vita Art Center. Vita Art Center. And is it a dot org? Is it a dot com? Um, no, it's a dot com. Know. It's a dot com? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Because a lot of this information, by the way, is going to be at the bottom of the screen. And we're also, we've got B-roll in here, so you're going to actually get to see some of their trip pictures, correct? Yes, yes. So th I think this is such a great opportunity. And thank you for providing that for the city. That's yes. such a gift for our yes, city. Yes, it, it's, it's wow. wonderful. Really it's going to be great. great. And we're, you know, there's sponsorships available. Oh, good. There's, so we're um, fundraising. We're fun yes. and I so are where fundraising. So where do people get a hold of you? <laughs> um, actually, if you go on to the Art Walk, uh, Ventura's Art Walk website, I have my email on there. Okay. And uh, myself and Kevin Clarice are on there. And so that's how people can contact us about it. And so we we're contacting for... people that we know. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. As well to be well, to be that, part know, of this. That's the beauty yeah. of Ventura. I yes. mean, you guys have been here long so, enough, so have we. Yeah. And I mean, the beauty is that we all work together and yeah. we all try to help each other. And I collaboration. Mean, yeah, that's not, the key. Yeah. What we do. Right. Yes. It's expensive to bring Cubans over. Yeah. yeah. And to you know put them up for a month. They're going to be here a month with a car, and uh, food and entertainment and donation of cell phones would be nice yes. oh, by somebody be, so that they need to be connected. Art supplies. So we're going to invite and, the Pope to come on the show. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. And sh uh, one thing I do want to say is Sherman Williams yes. is donating all of the supplies and paint those, for those this the, mural. That's the, they're on Thompson, right? Are yes. they on Thompson? No, they're, no, on, they're on, Main on Main Street. Street. Are they on Main? Main Street, right, um, right past Target. So there's sponsorship available. Uh, on many different right? levels. Yes. Different levels. Yes. And, pe and, and then when you sell the tickets for the art walk, and because I'm sure you're selling tickets, 
to some of the events? Yes, the the breakfast is twenty five dollars at the cheap. museum. Mm -hmm. Right. And we do uh, we do have corporate sponsors. The uh, Ventura College is our lead sponsor, and nice. they are going to take over Mission Park. And they're going to do concerts at night in the park. 